Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. I've been promising this video for such a long time, like literally since last summer, and I've finally got around to doing it, and it's my current makeup collection and storage video. Now, I'm also going to throw in a bit of a declutter as well, because I know that there are a ton of items that I need to address and get out of the drawers and give away or some that are way past their expiry date and that need to go in the bin. So um, you can help me out with that. Uh, you'll probably remember if you're a frequent watcher of our channel that we did a huge declutter, myself and Amy, back in, oh it was like early last summer I think, um, could even be as much as a year ago and we had like a massive joint makeup collection but when she moved out and moved to Orlando then she um, took her things with her and we threw a lot of stuff out that were just really old and we gave a lot of stuff away that we didn't use anymore. So I will link below the playlist for that whole declutter series because we had like massive amount of stuff that we got rid of. When I say got rid of, I mean most of the stuff went to family and friends um, who were very, very grateful for it and now have a gigantic makeup collection of their own. But what I want to do today is just to show you the things that I currently own and the things that are in my current makeup collection and the things that I reach for on a daily basis and the stuff that's there that I never reach for and we need to try and and declutter some of those items. So without any further waffling from me, let's just swing the camera around and I'll show you all the stuff. So this is my vanity that I use when I'm getting ready on the morning. And this is the Ikea Malm, which nearly everybody has. And this chair, I'll show you this chair, I got from uh, Next, and it was actually from the Next outlet store and it was uh, I think 60 pounds. It was supposed to be like 300 pounds or something ridiculous like that. Um, but I managed to negotiate them from half price down to 60 pounds. So I love that, it's a really good bargain. Um, on top of the vanity, I've got makeup brushes. So I've got the face brushes that I use and the eye brushes that I pretty much use all the time as well. I've got my skincare items, so I've got the um, Ordinary, what's this one, Buffet Serum, I've got some Trilogy Eye Cream and the Moisturiser, it's the very gentle range which I really like. I've got these out here because I've just bought them and I'm going to take them over to Florida when I go and see Amy next month and she wanted the L'Oreal back to bronze and the Life's a Peach and also the Bonjour New Dista. I haven't really looked at that, um, which is also new and they don't have those over there yet so she wanted me to take them over for her. I've got this I pretty much use every day as well, the um, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Um, I've got some eyeshadow palettes in there and this is where I keep my lipsticks and that's pretty much for the the top of the vanity. What I normally do, oh actually it's just this mirror as well which I'll mention, I got in, it's either Lidl or Aldi, might have been Aldi, I don't know, one of the two. That's one of those that has a light. Um, what I normally do on the morning is I put my iPad on here, watch some YouTube while I get ready and usually I would have my straighteners on here as well and I keep this marble board here um, which I got at where did I get that Dun Elm possibly Dun Elm um, and that um, stops my straightness from being on the glass but what we'll do is we will get into the drawers and we'll go through these and see if we can pull some items out before I do that though I'll just give you a quick scooch around here I've got these wardrobes here this is where I usually film we can see we've got the little E and M for Ella Mimi on there and I got those in TK Maxx and up on the top of the wardrobes here I've got these flowers and yeah I got those from the range I think they still might have those in I think they're actually from the wedding bits in this middle wardrobe I've got handbags 
um, some like nail polishes, perfumes and things like that. That's where I keep those things and there's some drawers in the bottom that I've got travel stuff in which we might get into another day. Um, and I'll show you these pictures as well that I just got recently from um, TK Maxx as well. There's this one which is a red headed girl on a coffee cup. Um, these eyes and the last one more coffee and this time someone with a huge cup of coffee which is what I could do with right now. Um, so yeah I've got those three pictures up as well. So here we go we'll get into the drawers now. So let's start over here. Here I have my concealers and then some mascaras and at the back I have some single eyeshadows and some other odds and ends. I have some small palettes at the side here. Um, as well, I know there's like a lot here but we did do like a really big declutter which um, I think I mentioned but I'll link the playlist for that below because we got um, rid of a lot of things in that. So this is just the stuff that belongs to me and that I've accumulated or hung on to. Um, so we'll start over here at some of these eyeshadow palettes. I've got the peanut butter palette here which I really like and I'll be hanging on to. These are quite new which I'll show you. These are the new Wet n Wild palettes and these are the new formula apparently. I've got the Comfort Zone, the Rose in the Air and this is Not a Basic Peach palette and they're really nice. I'm just kind of playing around with those at the moment. As I say, they're quite new. I've got the Naked Basics, which is like a go-to for pretty much every day. Um, I definitely need to clear out some of these concealers. So this is something that needs to be looked at. Oh, match in there. So let's go through these. So first of all, the um, Bourjois Radiance Reveal is normally one that I keep in my handbag. So I'm keeping that one. Um, I really like this. This is the Milani. This is a really, really good one. So I'm definitely hanging on to that. The um, Essence Camouflage. I haven't really got on that well with that. So let's pass that one on. Um, so where are we? Um, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, which I'm going to keep. It is a tiny bit dark, but I'm going to see if I can get a lighter one when I'm over in Florida in a, a few weeks time. I've got two of these um, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define which are supposed to be quite a good dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape and I've got C4 and C5. C4 is my shade, C5 is a little bit dark at the moment but I'm thinking once I get a bit of a tan that might be alright. Um, I have the Essence Colour Correcting Wake Up Effect. I don't really use this, you can see it's looking a bit worse for wear. I think I'm going to just bin that. Um, one of my absolute favourites, or two I should say, I've got the Age Rewind, um, it's the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I love this one here, the um, Neutralizer, and this is the Brightener, so I like both of those, so I'll come on to those. This is the Revlon, is it the Colour Stay? Yeah, Revlon Colour Stay again. Not massively a fan of that, so I'm going to pass that one on. The NYX Full Coverage Concealer. Now, this was supposed to be very similar to the NARS one that comes in the little pot. Um, I don't love it, it's a little bit too thick, but it's quite nicely used as an eyeshadow base, so I think I'll hang on to it for that. Um, the Wet n Wild, is this a photo focus? I think, yeah. Hanging on to that, I've got the foundation as well. This is an Essence eyeshadow primer, which I'll hang on to. Um, I use this one. Um, this is a colour corrector in the yellow, so I'll hang on to that. Um, I've got the NARS Raging Creamy Concealer and my shade is Vanilla, so I love that. Um, I'm going to, what am I going to do with this? Oh, do you know what? I don't use this. This is the L'Oreal Perfect Match. I'm not really using it, so I'm going to pass that on. This as well, this is the Age Perfect by L'Oreal. 
Again, I'm not really all that stuck on it, so I'll pass that one on. This is the um, Collection Primed and Ready Concealer Kit. It's got a small size of the Primed and Ready Concealer, and it's also got the... You can see I haven't even used them. I think I might just pass this on, actually. I haven't used it. I'm not going to miss it. So there you go. There we have got a shot of some concealers. It's looking still ridiculous, but slightly better. Um, I know that I can get rid of some of these mascaras as well, so let's go through there. Um, I like this, so I'm going to hang on to that. That's the um, Bourjois Volume Reveal Mascara, so that stays. This I haven't used. I'm not a massive fan of the whole um, primer situation with a mascara. This is the collection one, so I'll pass that on. Um, wasn't really that fussed on this. Maybelline Total Temptation, so I'll also pass that on. This Essence slash Princess I love, but I need a new one. This is pretty much dead, so this one needs to go in the bin. Um, I've had this forever in a day. This is the Anastasia, Anastasia, however you say it, um, brow gel, and I absolutely love it. Uh, I really do need another one, but until I get another one, I'm going to hang on to that. This is my absolute favourite mascara in the entire world. This is the um, False Lash Sculpt from L'Oreal and I need another one of those as well, but this one's still good. Uh, this is the Fleur de Force Eyelure um, Brow Gel and Brow Colour, which I like, so I'll hang on to that. This is Dead. It's a L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Um, why do they call it ecstatic here? I don't know. But it's basically the Lush Paradise. Um, it's very gloopy now and that needs to go. This is another one of the volume reveal, but this is one that you can build. So I'm going to hang on to that too. This is dead. This is another Lush Princess, but I prefer the green one um, than the like peachy coloured one. But this one's being used and needs to go out too. Um, this, haven't long opened that, I think I will hang on to it just in case, I should probably use it, you know, I'll use some of it. This is a backup because I am that person who has a backup apparently and I didn't even know it. Um, this is the volume reveal. Don't like this, it has a really awful wand and it's dead gloopy so that can go this is really old and needs to go to the bin this is oops, this is a tiny sample that i've used and needs to go in the bin and this is a plastic spoolie and then i've got two eyeliners which i'll be keeping one's a huge one and one is a black one and i think that is is it revlon yes it is these back in here. There we go, all done. So let's move on to some of the things I've got in the back here. I might have to just pull these out and go through them like so. So the, there's a black eyeliner in Urban Decay 24-7, which are a really good eyeliner, so I'm gonna hang on to that. I've got two of these by Terry Ombre Black Star eyeshadow sticks. The brown one, which is called, um, is a bronze moon, yeah. And also the like purpley coloured one, which I cannot remember what it's called. Uh, Misty Rock, that's right. So I've got those. I have an Essence eyeliner in blue. I don't have any other coloured eyeliner, so I'll hang on to that. Now these are very similar to the um, By Terry eyeshadow sticks, um, but these are from Maybelline, the Maybelline 24, the Maybelline Colour Tattoo eyeshadow sticks, so I'll hang on to those because I really do like those as well. Um, this is the only liquid eyeliner that I have, and I don't use liquid eyeliner so that can go. Um, I'll hang on to that white eyeliner 
This is a Smashbox eyeliner, so I will keep that. Oh, another one of those colour tattoos. This is actually a contour stick by Collection. I don't really like it, so I'll get rid of that. Oh, a couple more eyeliners. That's a Marc Jacobs one and a Buxom one in like a silvery colour, so I'll hang on to those as well. Right, so I've popped all of those things back and pulled these single eyeshadows forward, which I'll go through now. This is like a major flaw of this draw system, is that you, you like literally can't pull it out any further than that. So things get lost in the back there. Um, I've got a NARS single eyeshadow, and this is in Himalaya. Himalaya? Yeah. Um, I like that, so I'll hang on to that. This is a Revlon Colour Stay Cream Eyeshadow. Um, I don't really use it, so I'll pass that on. Uh, I really do like these, but I have had them for quite a long time. These are the L'Oreal Infallible Single Eyeshadows. This is Bronze Top, um, Amber Rush, and Sahara Treasure. I'm going to hang on to because I do like them, although they are a little bit old. And this is a Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow in, I, it's the Eyes to Mesmerise in Bet, Betty. You see I've used quite a lot of that. It's nice for the summer. And this is a Freedom brow pomade that I don't use anymore, so I'll get rid of that. Right, so I've just moved you along a bit so that we can have a look at the foundations. Um, I've also got some primers in here as well, so I've got a mini of the Too Faced Hangover Primer, which I really like. I've got the Glossier Prime and Moisturiser, which I think is okay, but probably a bit overhyped. Um, I also have the Coconut Skin Smoothie Prime and Moisturiser from First Aid Beauty, which I like as well. So I'll hang on to all of those and I'll use them up. I've got the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, which I think has just become available in the UK, um, but I think at the minute it might be an Amazon exclusive, but hopefully they'll be rolling it out in stores soon. I'm in shade 202 in the winter, and I've got 203 back there for the summer. I'm almost out of this, so I will be stocking up on that. Um, I've got here... I think I've got two bottles, yeah. I've got the two bottles. This one needs to go because it is completely out and I've started using the new one. This is the True Match Foundation. Look how manky that is. How embarrassing. Um, this is in vanilla, I think. Yeah, vanilla. 2N vanilla, which is my perfect shade. Um, love this foundation. I only discovered this last year. I know like, lots of people have been into it for many moons, but I just really tried it last year and loved it. I've also got the L'Oreal Age Perfect Foundation, which is not as good as this, but it's fine. I'll use it. A couple of others, um, these two, oh, that's filthy as well. Um, this is the Max Factor Healthy Skin Harmony. Now this is the same, I believe, as the CoverGirl um, Healthy Skin Foundation because CoverGirl and Max Factor are kind of sister companies. Um, that's also a nice foundation and the Wet n Wild Photo Focus is a really good foundation with a um, decent amount of coverage as well. So I'll come on to all of those. I've got the NARS um, in Finland. This is the Tinted Moisturiser, which is great for summer. And at the back here, hiding, is the It Cosmetics CC Plus which has an SPF of 50 and which is like because of that is perfect for taking on holiday. I've got a little sample here as well of the YSL All Hours Foundation which I didn't really care for all that much. It's alright. Uh, the most recent addition is this which is something that Amy brought me over in February when she visited and it's the Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation. I do love the Cushion Foundation. Um, the coverage is really nice but I don't use the like thing that comes with it, the poofy thing. Um, I like to just use the Beauty Blender 
to put it on with and that's a really good foundation as well so i'll be hanging on to all of those things we didn't do that well there did we at the back i've got some some travel size stuff which i'll go through at the end because i probably need to get them out on the countertop so we will move along a little bit further and i'll show you some of the other things we have here right so here i've got a lot of compacts with um highlighters blush bronzer all that kind of stuff so up this end i've got a few of the wet and wild highlighters i think these are the same yes i've got two the same so i will pass that on to family member this is new and this is something that amy brought me over just recently this is a highlighting gold bar from wet n wild i also have one of their blushes this is their princess daiquiris um this is my absolute favorite bronzer that i use every single day and this is the physician's formula butter bronzer i really like this this is the infallible pro glow powder so i do use that as well so i'll be hanging on to that um i've got a few milani things this rose blush which i like and these two here um this is the blush in luminoso which is one of their really famous ones and this one here is dolce pink so i like to have like a peachy one and a pinky one so they will be staying too this is also by physicians formula it's one of their blushes it's the butter blush i'm not all that fussed on this i don't really use it all that much it's kind of like nothing so i'll pass that on I've got two of these Becca split pan blush and highlighter palettes which I'll be hanging on to because they cost an arm and a leg. This is a MAC bronzer in Sculpt. This is part of the Maleficent collection a mac blush and this is oh god i can't even read what it's called um dainty this is dainty i really like that one that's a really good blush i've got a mini of the tart in party this was one of the birthday gifts last year and the final thing in here is a mini of the hourglass ambient light powder in dim light back here We've got some eyeliners and brow stuff, but I've also got a couple of highlighter, um, liquid highlighters here. This is the Wet n Wild Hello Halo, um, which I have not used yet. Oh, it's got a gigantic doe foot applicator. I will use that in the summer. And this is a Becca highlighter as well, the liquid highlighter. Um, I'm not going to go through all of this stuff, but there's just a ton of lip liners. This is the Total Temptation eyebrow pencil on one end and like a spoolie on the other, like a stubby little spoolie, which I don't really like, so I'll get rid of that. I love this. Benefit Goof Proof. Don't know why it's in there. It should be over there as should these little spoolies things get mixed up um, and there's a mixture of lip liners and eyeliners in there but i do want to keep them there's another eye product this is a brow product from ilo that's the fleur de force one which i love and let's just break some of these eyeliners out here and put them where they should be this is a lip treatment from milani which is really nice to wear underneath a liquid lipstick um, or like a, a very matte lipstick and there's just a pencil sharpener there and moving over i've got a bunch of beauty blenders in here and there we also have is one of my favorites look how dirty that is as well this is the um hourglass limited edition from a couple of years ago where you've got the bronzer some blushes and some um 
highlighter like powders as well the ambient light edit which i really enjoy this um amy brought me over recently that's really nice i think it's supposed to be like a bronzer that's no bronzer i mean look is that a bronzer no chance uh, this is great as well, the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette, which is it's Dolce de Leche and it has a bronzer, a, like contour powder and then a, this is really nice for like under your eyes as a setting powder, I love that. We have another eyebrow product from Fleur de Force, which I tend to use this one here only and none of the others. I got this in Sephora, it's one of their um, Tarte Pro Glow little kits with the bronzer and a couple of highlighters in and you can see I pretty much only use the top highlighter. And a couple of Charlotte Tilbury products, the um, Filmstar Bronze and Glow in the cream and also in the powder. So I pulled a few things up from the back of the drawer and I've put them out on the vanity here. So there are these three Milani eyeshadow palettes, which are the Everyday Eyes, which I really, really like. So I want to hang on to these. So I've got the three different shades in those. This e.l.f. palette, which has a, what looks like a really, really bright blush and a bronzer. Um, it's kind of like a cream to powder type of um, product and I'm not a massive fan of it so I will pass that on. This NARS highlighter and blush again like I'm, I haven't really used it all that much. I, I've had it a couple of years now. I think I'll pass that on. I've had this cream blush from Chanel for absolutely ages and it must be way past its expiration date. It says it lasts, um, is that 18 months? I've probably had it three years so I think it probably needs to go. A couple of NARS minis. This has not really been used yet. I got this in Sephora in the like Isle of Doom and it's the um, blush bronzer duo. It has the orgasm blush and Laguna bronzer. And this is a mini of the Laguna bronzer, which I've obviously used quite a lot of, but I'll hang on to that because it's nice for traveling. And the uh, last little mini here is the Becca highlighter and this is in Opal. So I'll be hanging on to that too. And the last thing in the back of this drawer is the Milk Makeup Blur Stick, which I must admit, everyone said was like was really fantastic and I think it's overhyped. It's all right, but it's just, I feel like it's a little bit solid. I don't know. It's, it's not my favourite, but I paid a lot of money for it, so I'll be hanging on to it and, and making use of it. So in the back of the other drawer over there, these are part of the stash of my uh, mini products that I've got. And most of them are like skincare things. Um, but I like to hang on to all the minis. So when I'm traveling, I've got a nice selection. So I just pull them out and I see what I want and pop them in my travel bag. And it saves you having to decant things if you just hang on to them when you get them in um, like gift with purchase. Um, some of the things that I'll be taking this trip will be the cleansing balms. I love the cleansing balm. Usually one of these, this size, lasts me for at least two weeks. So I usually like to make sure that I have one of those with me. So these are going to be great for when I'm traveling. This is the exception to the rule because you can see I used up this mini of the Drunk Elephant Whipped Cream. And I absolutely loved it. It's really nice, but the problem is that it made me love it and it's really expensive. So I don't know if I'll be buying it again, but I did really like it. And I saved the jar. I really need to wash it out. I saved the jar for putting other things in if I need to decant anything to travel with in the future. And the other thing that I got from Drunk Elephant in um, a Sephora gift set was the jelly cleanser which will be great for just popping in my little travel bag and taking on flights and things so I've hung on to that one 
I've got the deodorant, the healthy deodorant there. There's um, some skincare stuff, the Tarte um, SPF sun cream, which will be fantastic for just popping in your bag when you're going out for the day to top up your sun cream. Um, some primers. This one I really liked. This is the Murad Invisibler and it's an SPF 30 and it's also like a blur and primer as well so that is a really nice one to pop on as an SPF. Um, I've got the MAC Prep and Prime there as well and this is what I love to take on flights. It's the oil so I've got a couple of them there which I will definitely be taking with me. So they are all the like little minis that I've got in this drawer. I do have some other minis which are in that wardrobe that I showed you earlier and maybe one day I will get them all out and go through them all. So I'll show you some of the palettes I've got on the go at the moment. This is the Zoeva Coco Blend palette. Now I must admit I do not really use this so I think this needs to go to a better home so I will pass that on. This Too Faced Just Peachy Matte is a current favourite. It's um, quite a new one. I think this might be the newest one that I've got actually. I love this. It's really nice. It's going to be great in the spring and the summer. I have a very dirty and well used Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. Um, Urban Decay Naked 1 and Naked 2. I don't have Naked 3. I've never owned that one. Um, and I don't have the Naked um, Smoky one either. Um, the Too Faced Sweet Peach is another favourite for the spring and summer so I'll obviously be hanging on to that one. In here I have some more palettes. The Urban Decay Naked Basics I love and I'll be hanging on to. And this was, when I bought it, a massive favourite. Oh, can't get it open. The Tartlet in Bloom is an absolutely gorgeous palette, which I use a lot and will obviously be hanging on to as well. This collection Eyes Uncovered has never been used by me, so I can pass that on. I've got a few MAC eyeshadows in there that are favourite colours and I have a few of these mini um, Tartlet palettes as well that come in Sephora in the little aisle before you get to the till. This is the Flirt palette which I'll obviously be hanging on to. In this drawer I've got another two of those little Tarte palettes. The Tartist Pro de Gaulle and the Tartlet Tease, which has been well used. This is one of the Makeup Revolution palettes. Um, this one is called Chocolate Elixir. And this is the one that is supposed to be a dupe for the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. Um, it is very, very similar. It does have some additional colours in as well, though. So I will hang on to that one. Um, this one I think I bought about a year or so ago and this is the Lorac Mega 3 Pro Palette and it has really really gorgeous shadows in it which are really soft and blend beautifully. I will come on to that. So down here that normally sits on top of this um, Muji storage unit are some of my nicer lipsticks. So there's some Chanel, Too Faced, some YSL, um, some Tarte that are now discontinued, some Charlotte Tilbury. These are actually Makeup Revolution and they're a bit of a dupe from the, the Charlotte Tilbury. There's the um, L'Oreal Balmain, um, some Bare Minerals, some MAC and some NARS. And they are the ones that sit on the top of this unit here. So I just have a variety of different lipsticks in here. There's some like Rimmel, Revlon, Milani, L'Oreal, um, some MAC, some Minis, and same in here, just a few different brands. We've got a lot of the Bourjois here. Actually, I think these are the same colour. Yes, they are, so I can pass one of those on. And let's pop that one down here. These um, Revlon Ultra HD matte lip colours I really like um, because although they say they're matte, they're not like really matte. They're dead comfortable to wear and there are some 
more like um these are from covergirl these are really nice actually i think i've got two of these as well so i'll pass one of these on this one isn't opened so i'll pass that on and hang on to this one and then you've got some nicks there as well and in the top drawer i'll just lift you up a bit in the top drawer we've just got some lip glosses these Bare Minerals are my favourite lip gloss formula. Then you've got some Wet n Wild, Revlon, and some books and, and some NARS at the back. So just a bit of a variety of different lip colours. And that is everything. So that's it, that's everything. That's all of my makeup, where I keep it, and all that business. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. We'd love you to subscribe before you go because between the two of us, we'll be bringing you some more beauty videos. We've got loads of vlogs coming up as well. Um, I'm traveling to Orlando in just a few weeks to see Amy and I'm really excited about that and I'll be vlogging the whole trip and we've got loads of things planned. A lot of things that we don't normally do and what we always like to show you in our vlogs are things that are not necessarily always in the parks. We also like to go outside of the parks and do lots of things away from the parks as well. So I really hope that you enjoy our upcoming vlogs so that you can find us easily again in the future. I'd love you to click the subscribe button before you go because uh, we'd love to see you again. So until next time, have a fantastic day. See ya. Bye.